what's up guys so today we're going to be talking about the fuel system for the all-wheel drive rsx uh this is dory if you already know so we're going to be pretty much explaining to you guys uh the fittings and the lines and the fuel uh the fuel cell that i have and also the fuel filters and the fuel pump that i have as well because you're going to need an aftermarket fuel pump in order to run uh the inline uh pump because this you can't put a pump inside here so as you can see, the it has like a little drain here and that's where the pump sucks uh, gas in and feeds it into the motor. And as well, this is my return. So let me start from here and then we work the way to the bottom and then we work all the way to the engine. And then, you know, I'll break it down uh, a little so bit by little. Let's talk about uh, the fuel cell. So this fuel cell actually ended up costing me 90 bucks on eBay. And I fucking hated it, to be honest with you guys. And let me explain why. It's not that I hate the design of it. It's just the hate that I got the 10 gallon one. I wish I would have got a 15 gallon or a 20 gallon. And let me explain why I wish I would have got that. That I have to carry extra U85 with me everywhere I go. And it's annoying to carry those things behind you and it stinks. So one of my highly recommended tips when doing all this all wheel drive stuff is get a 15 gallon or maybe a 20, you know, it will save you that to carry that around behind your seat. And um, yeah, so that's pretty much number one tip is get get a 15 or 20 gallon. Do not do not get a 10. I cannot stress this enough how much I hate this damn thing. Uh, it's just, it's just annoying about it. So, I mean, the 20 gallons are only like 15, 20 bucks more. And at the time, I, I didn't know any better. So now that I know better, I'm sharing the knowledge with you guys. So you guys can don't make the same mistake that I make. So on eBay, it's about 120 bucks for the 15, 20 gallon one. Do it. Trust me, it's a good investment. And uh, one of the things when you do this, um, your gas gauge inside one actually won't work. I never really got mine to wire it up. Let me see. So I don't know how to wire it up to be honest with you guys I, I have looked it up and they have like a form how to wire it up and i, I really never care so i hopefully later on we can wire it up <clears throat> and i can show you guys how to do that but for the meantime i don't drive the car as much and i don't really plan on putting it so but it will happen because it's annoying not knowing how much gas i got on this and i have to come back to the back open this thing and check how much i got and then fill it up with those things so get us get yourself a big enough fuel cell uh the very next thing we're going to talk about is the the fuel lines and uh these are for e85 so if you are going to be doing e85 just make sure the lines that you get are rated for e85 otherwise this lines will get eaten up if you get just regular gas lines trust me I know I've been doing this and I made mistakes and guess what it cost me more money so like I said make sure you buy the proper fuel lines when you're doing this if you're just doing regular just 93 you're fine you don't have to worry about too much but if you are doing 85 you just have to do the extra work it's just how it is and um, for here I have a dash 10 fitting and a dash 10 line and it goes into my fuel pump so let me go under the bottom and then we'll explain that and yeah, but it's actually my return right here and i'll explain to that later on when we come back up here all right guys so here it's the same fuel line that you guys saw me let me see if i get comfortable the same fuel line that you guys saw uh, coming off the uh, of the fuel tank and it comes here and it goes to a fuel filter and this is a dash 10 fitting and this is a little adapter that i have here so this goes, this is a 100 micron uh, fuel filter. Uh, I can't remember how much I paid for that, but probably like 30, 40 bucks. I just got it off eBay. It's nothing fancy. It's just the, the pre-filter before the fuel pump. And this is my AEM uh, fuel pump. Um, this one I ended up paying about 150 bucks. And I got a ghetto right here right now. I'm just mocking all the fuel lines and uh, make sure I route everything properly because you can't not be routing anything through here because this is actually where the dry shop be going. And uh, I'm sure you guys, if you saw the other videos, you will know that uh, you have to cut this. And I'll probably put another picture for here for you guys so you know exactly, if you haven't watched the other video, what I'm talking about.
It's the, you have to leave this area open here in order for your drive shaft to go through. And I'm sorry, I'm on the bottom and I'm talking weird. So, yeah. So this is my AEM fuel pump, the inline one. And here I have a dash 10 adapter to another dash 10. And this, the fuel pump comes with this one. Oh, I don't even know the camera was recording right there. Uh, so there you go, this and this, okay? And here I have my positive and this is my negative into the fuel pump and later on in a different video i'll watch i'll show you how to wire this thing up and to be honest it's really not too difficult so this one will come with a dash six and then i got a dash uh uh fitting right here as well and that will go to my uh dash works uh fuel filter uh this fuel filter cost me about 110 bucks yeah, it's kind of expensive, but uh, I don't regret buying it. I have cleaned it and it's absolutely amazing. Uh, you can wash it with soap and water and you can put it right back in and absolutely amazing. I love it. It will protect your injectors from any trash or anything uh, that will be in the gas tank. So highly recommend getting one of these uh, Dutch Works. I'm going to see if I can put a link there in the description so you guys can get that one. And as well as the... Um, the fuel pump so you guys know what fuel pump to get so this fuel pump is rated i believe around 600 horsepower five six hundred so it's perfect i made 540 and i was absolutely perfect with it uh we were like a 80 90 duty cycle and that was because of the injector so there was no f issues with the fuel pump when we were in the dyno so that tells you enough that this 150 bucks fuel pump is actually really good and it's AEM, so it's a good brand. It's not like an eBay one. And I wouldn't just get an eBay one because that's just, I wouldn't do that one. So here you got it. This goes to here. And then I have it going up. And this line will go connect all the way to the injectors. You see, I'll show you when I get up in a minute. And it goes up. So I try to leave the the center tunnel as as clear as possible so nothing be on the way when i have to cut this piece right here for the dry shaft so i have to cut a, a big let me see i have to let me see if i can get on the camera sorry guy yeah i have to cut a big piece around here like this for the dry shaft when i have to go through and you can see i have to cut this through so we're not worried about that right now but so this is how we got the the feed line going to the injectors and that will just connect to the fuel rail right here and i'll show you that in a second and uh and i'll show you my return and all right guys so this is not bolted up all the way or nothing like that i just want to show you guys so this is my uh dash six return so it comes this way and it goes under the car and i'll follow it up so i can show you guys and this is the other line that'll come off to uh, the other side of the fuel rail and it feeds through here keeps the pressure and then it lets this go back to the back of the the fuel cell. So let me show you that in a second, how it actually works. So you guys saw the back. one coming off the fuel filter. So that one would just come over here, connect right into the fuel uh, rail, just like that. And then I'll have another fuel line. That's to be the return comes this way. All right. And it'll connect right over here like so. And then the bottom, that'll be my return. So let me follow up the return now that you see. We'll get under the car and follow all the way back to the fuel tank. I mean, fuel tank. All right guys, so you guys see the line where it's coming. I don't have anything in the center. And this is for the return. As you can see, it'll come along all the side, all the way from the regulator. It'll come back in here and then we'll go inside. And obviously you already saw it's in the fuel cell, but I'll show you the fittings that I have on there. But a uh, quick look again, you know, I have my uh, my feed line, I'm oh, sorry, fuel filter, fuel pump, and this mainly this fuel filter is just for the for the pump, so nothing really gets into the pump. And if anything small does go, then it goes to the pump and then goes to the little that filter right there. It has it's even smaller um, micron, so it protects the fuel fill, uh, the injectors for not getting clogged up or any dirt getting to them. So this is why I got this, and, you know, so on. So yeah, so feed line goes into the injectors and it's the return and all it does is bring the extra gas that you didn't use 
and it goes back into the fuel cell. So let's go back into the fuel cell and show you the fittings that I have on there. Right, so and, it comes uh, from there and then it goes here. So this is a dash six uh, fitting. And here I have a dash 10 to a dash six. So let me see if I can disconnect this so I can show you guys what I'm talking about. So there you go. It's really, really small. Oh, there. Take this one off. It's okay. I can take it off. So. There you go. You can see it. So it's like a reducer. So now if you want to do a return, like a, let's say eight. So all you need is a 10 to eight. Now, if you want to do a return to a 10, so all you need is a dash 10 uh, here fitting and they will just bolt right on. But I didn't really want a, a big return like this one. I mean, you don't need a big few return system. You just need something either a six or eight and it will be perfect. So put this back on and then that's about it. I should have the cap here, but I have it over there in the bottom and that's just uh, so the fuel, fuel, fuel don't come out of there. But that's about it. I just gotta bolt this thing down. You can see it has some little taps right there, one right here, one right here, right here, so you can bolt it down. So yeah, guys, so I'm gonna put a link for some of the descriptions, uh, the items there. So like I said, just be cautious and make sure you buy the right lines and uh, the right fittings as well. You might be doing a little different than me, but just buy good stuff, not buy anything cheap because it'll come out more expensive, believe me. And uh, don't buy a 10 gallon fuel cell, buy a 15 or 20. Trust me when I say that because I, I hate this damn carrying gas around and I am going to buy a 15 or 20 gallon. I'm just not sure yet. I'm going to get rid of this 10 because this is not cool carrying that around and it just stinks. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, we'll continue on the all wheel drive stuff and uh, more videos will be coming. All right.